Good morning, everyone. Welcome to this edition of Dog Training Web Series. Today, we'll have a look at the custom list in SharePoint. So I'm going to show you how to create a custom list where we define the list schema instead of using a predefined schema like the one we did, you know, for creating the contacts list. Now, so how you're going to do this is you click on the gear button, go to site contents, and then add an app, right? Here you go. So you click on add an app. And then I don't know how to search for it because it's all, already here. You can see the custom list button. Just click on that. And let's give it a name. So I'm going to give name customers. And I click on create. Now you see that the customers list has been added. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this and go to the next page. Now I am in my customers page. What I need to do is click on new item. As you see here, our list has only one column. The field name is title. And if you see here, it's got a red asterisk, which means it's a required field. So here we'll set the field value. So let's go ahead and enter a value called test, right? And I'm just going to click on save. All right. So now I have my list with our field called uh, tests, right? So this is how I created it. Now in SharePoint, columns are also called fields. So these terms are synonymous, right? Now let's go ahead and add one more item by clicking on the new item link. So I'm going to do that. OK, this time I'm going to call it demo. I'm going to click on save. All right, so I have two items or two rows, and we see the values of the title field, right? Now, notice this beside this value, there's a little ellipse, right? Three dots over here, which is linked to open up a menu. So, as you see here, so I just clicked on the ellipse symbol, I get another menu over here. Now, this menu was traditionally called the edit control box or ECB menu but we'll also here refer to as a list item contacts menu as well. Now, we've created this custom list because we want to define the schema. Now, there are a couple of ways to do it. So what I'm gonna do is, um, one way to put up the list is click on the quick edit, so it goes to the edit mode, right? Now, as you see here, there's, there's an extra column at the end with a plus sign, so you have a provision to add new columns, right? So let's go ahead and add a column, right? So the moment I press on the press on the moment I press on the plus symbol, I can see different types or the kind of columns that I can add. So I have a text, I have a number, date and time, personal group. So basically a lookup where I can search for users, and I have more column types, right? So let's go ahead and add a text type. And this time I'm just gonna call it as name. Okay, so now I have the name. I'm just gonna call some name over here. Okay, got it. Perfect, so I added that. Okay, now I can keep on adding different columns. I'm just gonna add this time a number, right? So I click on add new column and I click on number. Okay, let's call it as rating this time and obviously the text is not going to work anymore because see it actually catches up and only numbers are allowed so we need to enter a number there you go so I have entered my numbers now this technique is helpful when you're prototype prototyping basically out of a list but you don't need to have a lot of control so let's take a look at the other way of defining the schema for the list and we'll do this through the list settings, right? So what's, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna click on done. So I'm out of the edit mode basically, right? Now the next thing what I need to do is I need to go to the list settings, right? So what I do is I click on the gear button again and I click on list settings now. All right, so now I'm at the list settings. Now here I can define the schema for the list. When we created the column, we already had the title column. 
right? Now, you can see other two columns. You have the name and the rating, which you have created, and a few other columns, you know, which is hidden, basically, like modified, created, created by, modified by. So these are all hidden in the list, basically. And basically, it's used by SharePoint internally. Now, I need to define the schema of a customer's list, right? So click, what you'll do is you'll click on the name column, and then I'm gonna delete it, simple. I have deleted the column, right? So it's gone. If I go back to my list, See, the name column has disappeared, right? All right, so I have title and rating now. Now, basically, now I don't want this title. I don't have an option to delete this, right? This is because this is, a, this is the one which is given as a re required field when you create a list. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna rename the list, right? Rename the column, basically. So what I need to do is go to list settings again. Click on title, and this time I'm gonna call it as name. And press OK. See, I don't have an option to delete, right? So that's 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 how it, it's built on SharePoint. All right, so now I have name and rating. Now I'm just gonna add one more column, so I have an option to create here. Let's call it employee. Okay, so these are the different types of column features you have. You have a text single line, you have multiple lines of text, you have a choice menu to choose from, you can put up numbers, currency, date and time, lookup values, basically looking for the users or any other tags, information in the site. You have a yes or no checkbox, you have a personal group, hyperlink or picture, calculated values, task outcome, external data and managed metadata. So for now I'm gonna click on yes or no checkbox. And I'm gonna select the default value as no. I'm gonna press okay. All right, so now I have the name rating and the employee if it's yes or no, right? No, I'm just need to create one more column. I'm just gonna call it salaries. And I'm gonna define it with the currency field, right? So the currency format is already by default is United States. And I press OK. All right, so now I have all these. Now I'm gonna add one more. Employee information and I select on the multiple lines of text. And I press OK. So I've got a pretty number of fields now for my list. I'm gonna go back to my customers list. All right, so I have the name, the rating, employee, salary, employee information. So let me go ahead and add a new item. Okay, so this is how the form looks like. So I'll give a name. Okay. You know, also do this, right? Click on save. I can also add attachments. Click on save, right? Here you go, so now I have my information recorded over here, right? That's it for today's video. I hope you understood how to create a custom list in SharePoint and creating custom fields. Stay tuned for more and more updates and videos and please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you and have a great day.